All right, I want to say what's up. Welcome back to more Hogwarts Legacy. Hope you're all staying safe. Recording late at night. Just got done with like a two and a half hour session of this game, which is about four videos after editing. They're all between like 35 and 37 minutes, somewhere in there. But anyways, love you all. If you want more of this game each day, just keep it up. And uh, let's go ahead and get this. Doesn't get any more cozy than Hogsmeade. I'm going to, well, I might change it to nighttime, but here's what's funny. I don't think it's nighttime in the game just yet. Invisibility Over potion, Thunderbrew potion. In the market for potions, are we? I have enough money to what can sell. What I do for you today? I want to sell. What am I talking about? Here's the thing. I can, cr okay. Oh, man, it's two grand. Well, 2,000. <laughs> it's like, if you go and get these, you're going to have to get the ingredients anyways. Or you can just buy it. So I have a thousand four hundred. Let's see. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Well, here goes. Oh, it hurts. All right, Thunder Brew. It is. Buy one of those. Oh, this is wow, for the. Uh, Thank you. Okay. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Thing is, does it put it on my... Oh, it does. Let's make sure to not just use it by accident. Alright, this is the invisibility, so I don't... Yeah, let me just go ahead and use this one. Now I have to use this one against actual enemies. Here's what's worrying me right now. <laughs> I might save my game before I do this, but... If you hold down L1, it opens up like the... Like, like the Potion will or whatever. Mind now, dummy guys. But if I accidentally press it, it could be a problem. <laughs> it could be a big problem, because then I'll use it. So I'm I'm scared to even bring out the broom, you know. I'm gonna look for red on the map. Yeah, let's fly around a little bit. Got the little uh, claw symbol there. I'm going to go until I see some red. I'm just going to hop down, use the potion, and then I'm going to get right up against the enemy. Because I don't know if it's like a range type thing or what. South Hogwarts region. Here we go. There was enemies back in here, I think. At least early on in the game there was. Let's see. I remember coming back here fighting. Yeah, there was that one in the middle of the pond. Uh, Levitate. Really? Dueling feats. Yeah, hold on. There's an enemy back here. This is what I was looking for. Okay. This is almost too easy. All right, here goes. Okay, um, another thing I'm worried about now is. Okay. Can't see anything. So it makes his lightning stuff. That's actually really awesome. Wait a minute. You can have all the shields you want, buddy. It's over for you. It's shameful what you've done to helpless beasts. Alright, think we're good. We got a chest over here somewhere. I think it's in here. Yep. Uh, we got that. Collecting some of those. Would it have been smarter to spend, I guess, any kind of currency back on... Man, I'm tempted to... Uh... Let's just go back to that. Alright, so, we're actually headed... Professor Sharp, right here. Let's go ahead and zoom in. What is the nearest thing, though? Did it just take it away? All right, we're going right here. So let me go ahead and track that just to make sure I don't lose where I'm at. Here we go. Angelica, 
Have you finished your assignments? I finished the tasks, Professor. Well, well. I trust you are meticulous in your efforts. After all, shortcuts only ever lead to shortcomings. Uh, could have gone worse. Yeah, I like that. Well, I don't know about meticulous, but I did as I was asked. I'd advised doing more than the bare minimum if you want to hone your skills as quickly as possible. Talent and resolve are a potent combination. It would be a shame to let that go to waste. Thank you, Professor. Don't let it go to your head. Now, let's see how you fare with Defindo. Wand at the ready. Focus. Oh, here Defindo goes. can be dangerous if you're not paying attention. Got it. Another red one, too. Nice. We got four of those now. Hmm. Very good. It seems you have a grasp on Defindo. I would encourage... Let me see what it looks like. Slash objects enemies afar. Okay. That's so sick. I Okay, I like that better than... Man, I'm torn because I don't want to overdo it. You know? Like, I like a lot of these, but... For instance, this one is short range. So if I took this off... And then put this on... I would have everything, but I, I feel like the fire at the ground is just so strong. So what I might do is take this one off. But it knocks them back. I don't know. I don't know what to do here. Here's what I'll do. I'll do this at the top. And then on the second column, I will change... Well, that it's already there now. So yeah. All right. Once again, to practice here in the classroom, for your sake and that of everyone else. That's so cool. 150 XP. We got a talent point as well. Let's get it. And we're level 15. Let's go ahead and uh, use this talent point really quick. I'm gonna see if. Hold on. Spells. This is going to go for this. Yeah, I want to get this one. I saw this early and I was like, all right. Multiple enemies. Don't mind if I do. Whoops. I realize I've never really checked to see if... Oh, wait, we got a lock right here. Hold on. Let's just find out what this goes to really quick. Got it. Seems like somebody should be back in here, doesn't it? Uh, well, this is kind of strange. Maybe it's just there to, uh... I don't know. The fact that there's a chest already opened in here... Kind of weird. All right. Anyways, what's our current quest looking like? We got two. I know that. All right. So, in the shadow of the estate, let's see. Sebastian. We also got this one, which is. What is the rewards? Okay. I think this one seems like it might not be. Well, no. If you okay, let's go in order. Look at like the list on the top. Let's do this one right here. Okay, on map. How far away is this? Oh, it's right over here. Which I could actually just... All right, well, I guess I could just fast travel right here. There we go. I think after this quest, I'll probably... Wait, what? Why does it say wait right here? This must be to talk to somebody that's not actually... Hello there. Perhaps you can help me. Arthur? Have I? Hold on. Hello. Were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map, to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? 
Uh, sounds intriguing. I would like to do the, the main quest first, but when I have a chance to do the side stuff, I probably will. Why would I want to decipher an old map? For the sheer knowledge of it, Hogwarts fascinates me. Plus, you can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. Okay, treasure maps. Essentially find the locations on this. It's good to have that on the map, though. Uh, but it, I think it just overread, like, me going to the actual quest. I saw the wait thing, and I was like, let's just go ahead and do that. Alright, let's go ahead and get this. Looks like we're going up top here. I think after this quest, I'll take a little break. I've been playing for, well, a pretty long time, actually. Two hours and 15 minutes. I'm going to spend time with my daughter, put her to sleep, and then uh, record more of this tomorrow. Man, I'm excited because this game gets better and better. All right, here we go. Deke? Ah, Deke is so happy to see you. Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Deke has seen one of these before. D calls it a knapsack. Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. Hmm. Pleasant little breeze. I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beasts class, that I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area. So perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out there on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed. And luckily, Deke can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. Come along then. All right, let's get it. Our first stop will be beyond the castle grounds. We can leave now, or you can come and find Deke when you're ready to go. I'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect. Deke loves an outing. A nasty poacher. Deke hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Oh. It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. I like his character a lot. We have arrived. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puff skeins nearby. It will be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff skein, and in it'll go. All right. All right. Knapsack. Okay. What's happened to sign it to Okay. Spell. Okay. We'll put this on the bottom. Put it down here. But I should probably go ahead and equip. This will be like my utility one, and then... Are these called utilities? Yeah, they're utilities. What are these, then? Same, is that right? I wonder why they're not all together. I want these green ones, though, more than anything. I mean, this looks crazy. All right. Um, here we go. Should I try to, like... Can be interactive with... <gasps> Beast out of rescue range. So I have to actually, like, get right next to him. Okay. That makes sense. Gotta catch them off. There we go. Nice. You got one. All right. I managed to rescue a puff skein. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puff skeins, and well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Deke is certain they will be safer with you. 
Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puff skein. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A jobbernol, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready. All right. Let's go ahead and get this. I actually kind of want to... Uh... I want to fly there. Because flying is not something we don't get to... I don't get to experience it when the castle area and stuff. I gotta admit, this game has kind of taken over my life a little bit. Every time I get a chance to, I'm playing it. Making a lot of videos, too. When I look back at this year, I want to have this game completed. I know I've been kind of like not finishing certain stuff recently, but I'm trying to get better at that. Just, you know, playing stuff as it comes out. Enjoying it. Life's all about. All right, here we go. I love that we can just travel wherever. That's so cool. Because I don't have any of these potions. I'm going to put this back on. There we go. It was bothering hey, Deke. me. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Perhaps we should work quickly. The jobbernals are just here in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. I'm going to ask each one. What if I can't find any beasts in their usual habitat? Beasts won't stray too far from their homes. Look nearby or simply wait a moment and they should return. Do you have any advice on how I can rescue more elusive beasts? Levioso is not only helpful when rescuing flying beasts, it, it can also help rescue beasts that are generally hard to catch. Try using that spell the next time you encounter a small or otherwise elusive beast. Would you mind talking a bit more about what it was like working for your former master? Deke's master was not kind to beasts or to Deke. He saw beasts only as a source of income to be used for potion ingredients and labor and... Deke will not say more. But Deke is grateful to be at Hogwarts where he can help care for beasts and make amends for the things his master made him do. All right, let's try to go rescue. Here we go. Then I shall go and rescue a job and all. Good luck. Deke will be waiting. All right, beast habitats. So I've already passed one of these. Different locations. And hey, what's that noise? Oh, the water. I was like, what in the world? Well, if we're going to be rescuing, and it's essentially rescuing is... That. Settle yourself. I mean you no harm. All right. Pretty straightforward, I guess. I rescued a jobbernal. Deke hopes your jobbernal finds the knapsack nice and cozy. Poachers want them for their feathers, and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of. A herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Deke will see you there. I love how he just teleports. That's so sick. I didn't mean to do that. Hold on. Wait, what? There we go. Woo! Oh my god, almost died. Alright, a little U turn going on. Wait, what? Oh, she's right here. I was like, I kept going in circles for some reason. Yeah, it's turning when I'm trying to go. Okay, there we go. Alright, there we go. Oh, let's go ahead and activate this. Off on another adventure, are we? Hello, Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So, unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. Uh, see, how did you become... Oh, wait, how did you come to be at Hogwarts? How did you end up at Hogwarts after working for your former master? 
Deke's prior master had no family, so when he died, all of his house elves were relocated by the Ministry. Deke was the most fortunate one, as Deke was sent to Hogwarts. Deke's friends were not as fortunate. I shall go and find a moon calf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. One thing the game hasn't really done until right now is tell you how to change it from day to night, night to day. Early on in the game, there was a few times during quests where you had to do that. And I'm just wondering why we didn't get anything like that until now, you know? There we go. I was always wondering that too, because I had to like go on the internet and find out like how do you... How does it become, you know, changing it? In some games like Assassin's Creed or whatever, you would just like mash a button. Alright. Oh my god, these are so cute. Ooh, where are you going? Out of range. Where are you going? Now, now, I'm only trying to help. And got it! Let's go! Professor Howen will never believe this. Those are so cute, man. It was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. He'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. We kind of have to do that now, don't we? Um, I'm just going to fast travel because... Going the other way really doesn't make any sense. Hold on, set waypoint. Why is it... Can I not fast travel? You know what? Whatever. I didn't see a spot. So what we'll do is just... Oh, yeah, there's these balloons right here. Yeah, there's a quest where you get, like... You gotta collect these. And I don't know, like... Let's see if anything pops up when I hit one of these. Hold on, let's just try it. Nothing. It may respawn. I gotta be careful. Alright, room of requirement. I should... I actually want to see, like, can you... If you get next to it, does it do anything? Obviously, we're gonna have to, like, probably go from the ground and get there that way, but I'm just curious. I don't know. You can't really land anywhere up here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to just fast travel. I really wish you could just, like, go through a window. <laughs> It'd be so cool. Like, right here, just, like... Yeah, you can't dismount. Oh, like, imagine. Alright, well, let's land and we'll fast travel, then we'll go over there. Alright, because I think we have to actually do this anyways. Yeah, it was weird. It was like, okay, now it's saying I can travel. Um, there's no fast travel point next to it. So I'll just go to one of these. Then we'll just sprint there. I've been enjoying this game a lot to a point where I feel like... I don't know. I just feel like they did a great job with it. And not only that... Wait, can I like these? That doesn't do the long range. I let's try it. Hold on, let's try this one. Very nice. Okay then. I had a feeling that I was like, why does that seem so out of place? It was all by itself and everything. The only thing I'm still getting used to is finding where everything is on the map. It's, uh... Takes a little time. Some, you know, I'll forget where the potions class is randomly. Or I'll forget where, you know, all... Like, the dorm area and all that stuff is. But, after a while, you kind of get used to it. Reminds me when I was little, I got... Well, I wasn't little. <laughs> I had a PlayStation 2. And I got Grand Theft Auto 3. And it was like... It was like in my teens or something. I can't remember. But... I just remember the overall, like, map 
when I first got the game, it felt like so surreal. Same for like Final Fantasy VII, bunch of other games. After a while, you know it like the back of your hand. It's just like, that's the same thing with this. Also, I'm kind of glad we're exploring more as the series goes on. Like the arena stuff a few parts back. That area of the map looks pretty awesome. But it's saying the... Okay, I'm officially confused. Why is it telling me to go this way? So wait, what is through here then? Like, why even come up here? That was kind of odd. I don't know. Headed back down then. It's one of those things where it wasn't really clear. It's making me dizzy a little bit. Yeah, it's right. Like it's up top, but now we're going back down. Very interesting. Yeah, it's like none of that even mattered. That's kind of strange. All right, now we're going back. Because I didn't see a fast travel point next to the actual room or requirement anyways, so... There's no, like, fast way to get there. So I was like, if I could not... If I couldn't ping that area, I would be in trouble. Yeah, I don't know why we went the other way. The waypoint just decided to... Like, it was a purple waypoint, so maybe it was one I accidentally clicked and didn't realize it. Now we know to just follow the yellow. <laughs> I think after this quest, I'm gonna spend time with my daughter until she falls asleep, and then I'm gonna edit all of this stuff. The cool thing is, I'm recording. Uh, what part number am I on, technically? After editing, I have no idea. Alright, here we go. Took a little while, but we finally made it. I love that it's just in a hallway by itself. Here we go. There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued their new home. But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Hmm, what exactly did you think of? Heavens! You've done it! But what is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. Meet you inside when you're ready. This looks amazing. <gasps> it's perfect. Look at this. It's amazing. Where are we, Deke? It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them. Let them see their new home. All right, manage beasts. Here we go. thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, beasts that are well-fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puffskin hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. 
All right, nice. Uh, all right, we need all this stuff too. Our nurture, they provide materials. Okay. So you gotta feed the beast. Got you. So wait, what does that say? Tap it and assign beast feed. Yeah, I've got all that stuff on the bottom one. Okay. So we just, uh... There you go, buddy. There we go. Brush time. <laughs> Wait, what's it say? Collect? There it is. Alright, that's the first one. Hold on, where's the other ones at? Although it's cool, I I, I kind of felt bad. It's like you're taking them away from... Well, you got like materials in here too. Very interesting. Alright, where is the... Uh... Oh, here we go. Interact. So you can kind of see where the other ones are. Alright, collect that. Now the other one is way over here. Okay. Almost like a peacock. What? There we go. I feel like Arnold in Kindergarten Cop. It's working. <laughs> They're all petting the uh, the class pet or whatever. <laughs> he's like, "Good, it's working." And he's like, "I mean, uh, there we go." I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom. Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. All right, enchanted room. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and exit. Does it load or does it just walk through or there? Very nice. Alright, conjure the enchanted room. Let's go ahead and see. So, I think it wasn't in this one. Yeah, conjuring spell. Uh, let's take off the top one, I guess. Well, uh, let's put this. Oh, got a whole corner right here for it. Rotate this around a little bit. Uh, let's make it... Yellow. There we go. That's cool. Alright, add a trader to the item. Okay. This is what I've been waiting for. Okay. The only thing is... This is stuff I have equipped right now, I believe. You upgrade. That's what it is. Although I don't even want to upgrade these, but I kind of have to. Add it to a piece of clothing, yeah. View upgrade, same as this one. Just kind of get the quest done. Uh, add a trait to an item of clothing. So once we get it done, now we go to the gear. Always forget where it's at. Do we just click it and is it... Uh, doesn't have it on there. Unless I'm missing something. I see a slot for it, but... Hold on. Interact one more time. So once we've crafted it... View upgrades. This is upgrade gear. No trade applied. Maybe this is what they're talking about. View upgrade. Let's just do this one real quick. No trade applied still. Okay. View traits. So now we just... Oh, we pick one off the list. Okay. About to put this on. What kills me? Increase damage with it? Oh my goodness. Gimme. Alright, now we got it. That came out nicely. I should show Deke. Let me put this on really quick. 
Yeah, this is the one. Pretty awesome. But I'm going to change the appearance anyway. Because I like this... This little cloak we got on. I used the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Thank you for your help, Deke. Very awesome quest. I've more to teach you about transfiguration, if you have a moment. So that's complete. Eight out of eight. Hold on. Uh, challenge complete. Let's go ahead and check that. Hold on. Where's the? Uh, it's always down here. It's always the main one, Brad. All right, quests. Legendary mask. I'm not gonna get that one. Oh, 14. Nice. Okay, so it goes two, four, six, eight, 14. <laughs> it's like they uh, they had to throw you a curveball a little bit. All right, so I'm loving this a lot. What is the next quest we got? It's still the same. Okay, yeah. We got this one, which it's weird that... Okay, I guess it's an order. So this is the next thing. All right, I'm going to take a little break. I love you all. I've been playing for two hours and 40 minutes. I'm going to save my game. I'm going to tuck my daughter into sleep. I love you all, and I'll talk to you on the flip side. All right, peace.